Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads. And today we're going to be taking a look at AVAS, which is an AAC app. And so let's go ahead and take a look. Hi, my name is Narayan and I'm the CEO of AVAS. We make AAC apps for people with disabilities like autism, cerebral palsy, this, uh, ALS, uh, and many other neurological conditions. Um, a AVAS is a picture and text-based communication system that is used by over 100,000 people across 50 different countries and in over 18 languages. So this is the Avaaz AAC app. You can see it can run on an iPad or uh, on a phone. This is an Android phone, so it runs across platforms. Um, this is the picture vocabulary. I can create a sentence by tapping a word. You can see that enlarged. This is great for children with autism, but also great for children with CVI or even adults who are hard of hearing. Um, so I can say, I want. And let's create this and say water. And I can speak it out or share it as an image to, um, to my friends over WhatsApp, email, or I can copy it as a document for my classroom as well. I can go over to the keyboard and extend the sentence. So this picture prediction that you see um, has pictures from this uh, picture vocabulary that the child is already working on. And I can say, and so it does current and next word prediction. Um, so it can complete the word as well. The really cool thing about the Avas keyboard is also the phonetic prediction. So this is something that we created once we saw a child actually spell out ocean as O-S-H-A. That's when we realized, oh, the child's trying to spell it as a phonetic match. So now if the child, say, types the word coat as K O T, you get an option of quote here. So it's actually doing a phonetic spell check uh, on the app itself. So it's really useful for children who are who kind of spell through sound. Um, and that's so coming back to the um, picture vocabulary. One of the strengths and the unique features of ours is that it's really easy to use. From the last time when we recorded this three years back, we've also revamped the design. It's much more user-friendly, much more modern in look and feel. So if I wanted to say add words in ours, I can do that pretty easily. So I can let me go to say food. Uh, let me go to say dessert. I'm just gonna add a bunch of dessert items together. So this makes your work really easy. So I can say cake. Um, I'm going to say ice cream. Um, I'm going to say uh, dessert pastry. So I can, and it's added all these words together. And now if I want to change something, I can tap on change and actually pull up an image from the internet as well. So you don't have to download it and separately, it's all within the app itself. So customization is really easy, really, it's very quick, so that's why a lot of teachers prefer Avas because it's so easy to use. And then you have lots of settings that you can go through and customize it, personalize it for the student or the communicator. Um, we also now have an eye tracking version that's available. Uh, we are integrating it and coming. hopefully we'll be coming soon on a Windows platform as well. We have few exciting features for just all language processors. We have few new features coming up which will have larger grid sizes. So supporting larger grid sizes up to 117 pictures per screen. So we have the entire range of communication, be it a young child or be it a kind of an older communicator as well. So that's ours. Thank you. Well, that's your tech tip for today. I want to say thank you to the Indiana Telephone Relay Access Corporation for sponsoring our captions today. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.